Good evening, everybody out there in Noirland. Welcome to another smooth, misty, and morally ambiguous session of Grey in the Dark. Coming to you from downtown San Termino. Gestoria in a world not our own. My name's Philip, and I'm your Noir Master for this highly stylized game presented in monochromatic format, both on stream and in world. Joining me are our wonderful players. Say, stay cool, players. Stay cool, stay cool, stay, players. Stay cool players. I, I None of us are original. <laughs> try to make people yeah, say Yeah, just stuff. It, so well, you can say stay original, players, so we're safe. Stay original. <laughs> oh, goodness. How's everyone doing tonight? Because we haven't been talking for 30 minutes yet. Uh, I'm doing great. Cool. So far. Me too. It's so good to see your faces all just now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's so cool how we all just popped on here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we got a, we got a fun fun session here. Uh, last week, I'll tell you, this game this game is a, often really goes in unexpected directions for me. Um, and last week really did that in a fun way where kind of, uh, I think things still feel noir and post-war and weird, but, um, we did kind of start, we're now kind of in sort of our, our noirish roundabout way, sort of dipping our toes in some slightly more traditional fantasy world stuff, although it all has, has its own twist on it. Um, basically, uh, after sort of in, in the, in the, <laughs> with the goal of laying low, from the military intelligence surveillance that is currently kind of on them all, thanks to Scrack. Um, our group sort of were kind of trying to sort of take care of some some other matters, just kind of stay, let things stay sort of stay cool. And uh, Scrack decided that he wanted to uh, maybe go to, um, go to a bookstore that specialized in shadow magic, uh, specialized in shadow elf culture, as it has become apparent to everyone that whether or not they were responsible for Project Skip Bleach when all the color from the world was drained at the end of the war, the Shadow Elves may have some connection to it. And those in our group who care about learning about this stuff are interested in what that connection might be. So, Scrack, Chanel, and Leo walked back to their safe house. Might have ridden a trolley. I can't remember how you guys get there uh, these days. Because um, you are pretty far. You're way down in, you know, uh, they're way down in, in a Cook Park. Uh, they uh, they basically uh, went there, hung out in their place for a while, and then broke apart separately, all sneaking away, uh, hopefully unseen by whatever surveillance was out there, and making their way uh, separately to a bookstore called Ilingir uh, down in Howard Canyon, just kind of to the south of there. Um, this bookstore um, seemed to be the meeting place of some kind of shadow elf political uh, reading, and uh, due to uh, kind of both Scrack and Leo coming in and asking about the same materials, this person got spooked and was worried that there was about to be violence, and the kind of controversial speaker uh, was quickly escorted out of the place um, by one Molly, who everyone but Scrack had seen before, uh, ten sessions back, I think. Uh, it's been a while, yeah. When, uh, yes, uh, when she was a, when she was working as a guard for Aldir O'Leary, that sort of, kind of, roused about, uh, uh, elf who had something to do with the attack on the alley. Um, Molly got that guy out of there. The, the clerk, however, kind of was like, all right, uh, sorry about my, you know, when he realized you were all there together, he's like, oh, I really jumped the gun. Whoops. Um, but he did sell some books to the group. He sold them books about, uh, Edueth, which is the, the equivalent of this, uh, of San Termino in the Shadow World. Uh, and he also sold, uh... <laughs> because she really specifically asked for it. Uh, Chanel was like, hey, do you have any books uh, about, like, a cursed place with treasure? And he's like, actually, yes. And he sold I her anything. He didn't put it that way. Well. Archaeological sites. 
That is fair. You didn't put it that way, but um, that is what you were asking for. Yes, uh, so, uh, <laughs> and uh, he did in fact give her a book within, like a like a like a case, like a very very old tome about uh, a place called Anobith, which was a kingdom in the Shadow World, um, that sort of was destroyed long ago. Uh, Chanel sort of paid for all these books. It was a lot of simoleons uh, for these books. Uh, you know, the it was like ten simoleons for that big one, which is is, is you know like like a thousand bucks basically. Uh, but um, treasure maps they can be expensive sometimes, I guess, if that's really what this is. Treasure map on another plane corresponding to another continent. Uh, but um, it's good to have nonetheless. Uh, so with that, our group kind of um, they 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 snuck out in staggered intervals with further circuitous routes, they made their way back to their safe house. And that is how, fr that was, that was their hot Friday night out on the town. So it is uh, Disney's One Saturday Morning. That's a, that's a reference for people of a certain age. Remember Disney's One Saturday Morning, anybody? I nope. do. No. Thank yes. you. Yes, Thanks. that makes sense. <laughs> One Saturday morning, illuminating television. Yeah, that whole jingle. I, uh, I remember Zoom Disney, but that's that's the only one there. It's Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Um, man. All right, so that uh, that's basically where things uh, sort of left off. Um, you will notice that that was a, uh, and apologies to those players, but in these longer campaigns, I think you guys are always kind of kind of fine with it. Uh, that was certainly a lot of, uh, of Scrack, Leo, and Chanel time. Um, as they were sort of doing that. It did, however, sound like Dominic and Luminous were, didn't really have anything else they, they needed to get up to on Friday night. They were just going to kind of be content to, to sort of hang out. Uh, Dom, I think you're muted. Yeah, I am. So, are there any regular visitors to the alley that comes on Friday nights? I, yeah, honestly, yes. The uh, you you might have just oh. legit having to have been like working that yeah. night anyway, because of yeah, it's Friday night and people were were coming in. Yeah. So I'm swapping uh, stories and complaints about people's day to day lives and their jobs, and uh, yeah. If there's like some old wizened war veteran that comes in to drink away the troubles, I'll go and sympathize with them. And say, yeah, I didn't fight in war. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that sounds really bad. I was just a kid. Um, yeah, yeah. Rough. Here's no, your I drink. Actually, I think I was my teenagers. Early yeah, you teenagers. were teenagers. You were like, I was just doing crimes in a foreign country. <laughs> Here's your drink. Um, but uh, as you, so basically, you had kind of a standard night in. You guys got to bed wherever, wherever you, wherever you bed down. Um, so in that case, we will start Saturday morning. But I will start with both Dom and Luminous if there is any business either of you want to see to. Um, kind of in these in early Saturday before everyone gathers at the alley, we can certainly let you guys do that. Um, I'm uh, assuming everyone else is just reading. No, I would just be probably practicing cooking I, skills. Yeah, okay. yeah but making something. I think the three of us back in the safe house are reading. I, I think it would be pretty safe to say Scrack probably has to make an exhaustion roll for not sleeping all night. Okay, yeah, sure. Make it make a con save. Sure. That's the possibility of you succeeding I can't save uh, not terrible it's a 15 so I think that is a success <laughs> it's a success yeah you're 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 you know it becomes much harder to do that again but you're fine for now um you also did get some more books from the library as well you know just about the fairyland so you'll have you'll have a good bit of stuff uh, so yeah luminous is doing some cooking Dom anything you're up to no I'm just waiting for when I finally learn about Scrax uh, their shenanigans there. Understood. Well, then we'll sort of, we'll, we'll kind of skip to the Saturday morning. Uh, I think we'll even say that perhaps Duchess is, is taking a personal morning uh, just to, to hunt down well, Freddy, who has been, you know. It is the uh, weekend, so. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, so Illuminous is cooking some food. Uh Cynthia is there, you know, kind of, yeah, cleaning, cleaning glasses and, and kind of after last night's uh, larger night. Um, Jump and Gianna is not here. Okay. Uh, thank goodness. Uh, Jump and Gianna, we haven't seen Jump and Gianna in a while. Don't worry. She'll, she'll, she'll come in like a, like She's going to come up at the knife. worst be, time. Please, can she be dead? Please. It's going to be she, like. Well, I guess, you know what? If I roll a one, we'll say she's dead. 
roll the one. Natural 20. <laughs> she is super she's, alive. She's two of her now. Carefully. She <laughs> is. Bonda, <laughs> listen totally. to me. She's never going to die. <laughs> <laughs> now with that, I'm stuff. just going to enjoy us talking with some, you know, military police. They're going, wow, I heard that this is a mob farm, but you seem like a well up and up location. And then Jada barges in here with like hey. guns blazing. Hey boss, I got a couple heads in a duffel bag. <laughs> <laughs> that old chestnut. Damn it, Jada. <laughs> oh, are these cops? Hey fellas. <laughs> um, so. Uh... Hey boss, I was just telling my friend about that time you shot a government officer. Hey, I heard what you did to those feds! Um, oh yeah, you're right, we should try to get her back to that. Um, <laughs> oh, no. But, uh, so, with that, um, as you guys are kind of getting getting stuff ready in the boarding, I'm actually going to be taking a step, since you all spent so much time reading, presumably, um, this actually, uh, there's no roles required, I will just kind of give you some intel on the books you've read. Um, so, uh, are you going to come in and sort of share everything with the group? I have uh, a question to my book. Yes. Please. Please don't tell me. Is it in Umbro? Yeah. Yeah, he said it. <laughs> he said it was an Umbro when you bought it. It was an Umbro bookstore. Yeah. <laughs> Even showed it to you. Did Leo have any channeling left? I mean, I can short rest and get it back. So he can short can. rest and get it back. So he could have read through the book for you to some extent. And I can help you guys with your books because they have high intelligence now. So maybe we uh, several of Strack's books are also in Umbral. He, now he right. did get a little Umbral dictionary so he could look up. Parts Is there a way I can start learning Umbral somewhere? You guys have an Umbral he, dictionary, so yeah, sure you can. You can start. How long does but Umbral um, languages last? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Or actually, yeah, yeah. ten minutes. Just ten. What is that? Uh, the ritual that you did. Or now. Is it 10 minutes? If it's, if it's an hour, could I cast it with my channeling and would it last? Like, could I maintain concentration on past the like duration uh, of my channeling? I'd allow that, sure, if you cast okay. it, it goes, but it may only be, it may only be 10 minutes. Right. How can we get hold of a helm of comprehend languages? Duration one hour. Ask. Comprehend languages. It nice. is an hour. You yeah. pay okay. I would definitely an exorbitant amount of money. Sure. Okay, cool. Um, so, um, I, I think you can only cast it on yourself, though. Oh, is it? Range, Range area self. Yeah. Damn. You I would definitely have done that for myself. Though. Sure. Um, <laughs> but in any case, as you guys are sort of basically just going through some umbral, kind of looking up these books. Um, but I guess I guess I'll sort of I do want to pause here. If you guys are sort of coming in to give an info dump, uh, are you sharing everything that happened? Are you telling them the story of how you got this information as well? Are you just sharing what you learned? Uh, Scrack only shares the information, but I think he does it in a in a method that triggers information flood. Yeah, that's probably the case. Um, Dominic and Luminous. All right, I'm there polishing up the glasses and all that stuff. Bar. Yeah. Uh, probably brewing a place to do something. Eyes are glazing over from Scrack mentioning everything about the yeah, shadow can world. Can you two both shadow make can you guys both make intelligent saving throws? Yeah, that's a two. Actually, so, uh, Chanel and Leo, uh, you guys might be immune since you've read all about it. A two? Uh, hey, totally, well. Chanel totally enjoys Scrack's uh, lectures. Uh, Scrack, DC? What? Scrack, what is your uh, professor DC? Uh, same as my regular spell save, right? It's, uh, uh, it's, 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 you, you don't have a spell save, it's just your... Oh, that's right. I have a professor DC. Give me a second. I have to actually look it up. I haven't. Uh, I'll just enjoying the lovely waft of whatever I'm cooking. I think. I think fourteen. I think fourteen made you one short. My regular spell say DC is thirteen. I don't know. I might be a little higher, professor. It, 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 it's your. It's 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 a. Uh, it's eight plus your like professor attack roll skill. Oh, okay. So then it's uh, no. It's Which thirteen. For you is just your arcana. It's thirteen. It's your arcana. Oh, arcana. Uh, okay, then it's uh, fifteen. Yeah, Damn it. 15. Oh, I'm almost getting there. That you keep going into these weird uh, yeah. umbral phrases, and, and I'm you going, just can't. So basically, it, it, this this actually does not mean either of you are misunderstanding it. 
Uh, what it means is that you keep getting disadvantage on your ability checks. Uh, so, Dominic, you might drop a glass or two. Um, he's, it's just so distracting as he does this luminous. You probably burn a burger or what, you know, you burn some of the sausage. Yeah. I pour too um, much salt. Yeah, pour too much salt. Use sugar instead of salt, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Oi! Never heard of being terse, Professor? Get to the point. Well, uh, uh, all of this information is ne- necessary to uh, uh, understand the point. Yeah, that. No, c- c- all the context. Shadow Realm doesn't matter. I what does a Shadow Realm have to, to do with shooting up my bar? I believe it is very interesting to listen to Mr. Brecken's lectures and as uh, I drink my morning vodka as Leon. Did you eventually get to Molly? So uh, you you walked into a a bookstore. Oh, a bookstore. And then what happened after that? You kind of lost me. Well, we were mistaken for assassins, apparently. Um, and we scared away the revolutionary man who was giving a, a talk in the... Uh, okay, okay. Bunch of the, revolutionaries um, from the Shadow right. Realm. Yes, so not relevant. We, we got... We were there to kill Scrack, which... Honestly, if there had been other members of our group, it would have been very likely that one of them would have wanted to kill Scrack. But okay. this, in this case, they were wrong. Um... But they, uh, they sent danger, and um, because of that, uh, they, they took the men away to the back, and everybody was very upset. It was mostly our fault. The, the, the huh. important thing is that I, I got more books, and he puts them down on the table. That's the important thing? Yeah, really? no, no, the important thing is he is way more eloquent than, than Leopold. Well, I mean, I don't Crack think they're exactly elo- eloquent, but... Uh, Leopold suddenly has a larger vocabulary than me. All right, all right. Yeah, that all doesn't right. always mean a lot. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll humor you guys. There's this thing about the Shadow Realm, which is apparently has a tie into everything here. Well, we're not exactly well, that, sure, that, but we were talking about the fact that uh, Dark Elves or Shadow Elves would be the only ones to benefit from the training of color, right? What? Well, was there anyone important or anyone I know that was there? Your honor, I object oh, right. to the witness. <laughs> <laughs> Your honor, I object. Self-centered? <laughs> um, no? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, these storylines so. are completely different from the whole... Does it doesn't work on cross. Everything. We d- don't know yet, but that's what I'm tr- trying to find out is if all this is connected. Oh, that's connected. right. You, you never read into her. That means nothing to him. <laughs> That's what right, Strack never actually met Molly with us. Uh, so I'm gonna get, connection. get back to studying, and, and he sits down with the book in his tail, and he's just taking notes with his hands, drinking <laughs> a cup of coffee with the other one. Ah, uh, man. Okay, so... Wait, is your character... tail holding the book? Yeah, I have a prehensile tail. Okay, so in character, Dominic still doesn't know Molly was at this thing, so he's gonna go, alright. In, in one ear, out the other. Okay, more Shadow Elf uh, stuff, whatever. Um, uh, oh, well, uh, we did run into that lady. Um, that lady. Uh, what was it? Uh, the, the scary, quiet one who likes to point knives at people. Uh, the Shadow Elf, uh, she was with uh, O'Lear. Molly. Oh, that Molly girl? Yeah. She Shadow Elf? Yes, she was she the one who took the man out the back. Wait, wait, wait. Out of character. Was she always a Shadow Elf or was she a Wood Elf? Yes, working? always a Shadow Elf. Okay, got it, it. It was never specifically said until now that she was a, a like, it, shadowy skin it, elf. It right? was said when you very first met her. Oh, it was? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she got was it. very different than him. And also, I did okay. I did look back. I think I emailed you guys that, but I watched through it, and she never said a word. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so then you see Dominic just stop polishing up the glass. Molly, what the hell? I mean, is that does that count as a, a connection to you? I mean, it is close-ish. Well, I mean, because Alita like, was the one who shot your uh, shot, up, right? or at least I mean, she could just be a hired mercenary for if she's bodyguarding two different people. God damn it! I was hoping to just ignore all this Shadow Elf stuff, but mm, damn it. Mm. Um. God. <laughs> While you guys sort of debate this, oh, actually, he's gone. Yes, I'm sorry. Continue this. I'll, uh, I'll uh, 
Uh, well, yes, while you sort of debate this, let me tell you the actual information they've said in case this kind of leads okay. any any conclusions. Here is what they have learned. And now, Chanel, are you sharing what you've learned about Anabite? Or, or should we focus on uh, you do it? Oh, yeah, I share whatever I know. I All don't right. mind. Okay. Now you have my attention. Um, so, um, there are... Because uh, Scrack kind of... They're, they're actually... You did get some useful stuff out of the books about the Fairylands um, when you sort of read, kind of both in context, it kind of provides you some good clues. Um, the reason that they built Thinis, which was the, uh, which is in the Fairylands, that was the version of San Termino. They built a, they built a, a, a city called Thinis. They had a problem because the reflections of San Termino were not right. The elves found that the natural things that were forming in response to this relatively new city in Gestoria weren't forming properly, so they decided to try to shape, uh, sort of using fey magic, uh, a, a, a more accurate representation. And they kind of then enjoyed the artistry of doing that, and over the course of a few years, they created this town called Finis. Uh, Finis is a F-I-N-I-S. It's Latin for Finis. Um, Finis is a... Uh, Finis was a town that was... Um, I want you to think very like Main Street USA at Disneyland, like like a city, but everything is very smells of vanilla. Um, smells of vanilla, like very like you know, it's super clean. Um, the architecture all became much less severe, much kind of kind of bright and friendly. Very a lot of like you know, and plenty of plant life certainly, but it, it was just a very kind of like like Technicolor movie musical backlot version of Santa. What, what was wrong with the natural version? They felt it wasn't... Um, <sighs> Darkness was creeping in in weird places. There was like a... They, they, they basically just said, it's... it's. <sighs> um, tell you what, roll... I want you to just like, roll an insight roll. No, stop. Make an integrity. The more oh, is it? it's really, it is oh, that curiosity. Yeah. What is this? Morality. Kingdom Hearts? Are we actually one of the Kingdom Light Hearts? Dark Park? Hearts Dark Park? Three. Um, according to them, it just didn't look right. They thought something. They thought it was just. They, they thought something was weird with it. It just didn't. It just didn't look right. It didn't seem. And, and granted, it should be pointed out, Fittis is not at all what a typical reflection would have been. Reflections would usually be more all completely natural, like they would have built a separate city, or you know, like a like what like a kind of a you know like a uh, what's the term for a, uh, kind of tent, you know, like the big fun medieval tents they would have built, you know, sort of those. It starts with the C. What am I thinking of? Can uh, Carnival. Canopy. No. Circus. Yeah. What's a circus tent called? Ah, never mind. Don't worry about me. Uh, something. A year. <laughs> circus tent starts with the C. Big top? It's like a big top, but like the, like like what like a military commander, like the king's giant tent. There's a term for it. No one listened to me. Anyway, the point is, um, I've stopped. They decided to try to when they started cracking. Yeah, they said start. the the natural the natural formations seemed weird and seemed inaccurate because they seemed too dark. They instead decided to build something, and in the artistry of that, they sort of used fey building structures to make an interesting mirror of it. They built Finis. Um, Edueth, the equivalent in the Shadow World, was built basically in direct response to like, oh, well, if they're doing that, we gotta do that to balance it out. Otherwise, they're gonna have this new power center and this deep connection to that city. And this was happening at other cities too, but um, it was the San Termino. It was like these two side cities of San Termino were like the two biggest. Uh, they weren't the earliest, but they were like the first big ones that they had to do anywhere where they were really trying to accurately do it. Um, Edueth, for the record, is an extremely dark, gothic, brooding, um, you know, Tim Burton Batman version of San Termino, which is already a relative, like, it's not, it's not very gothic, but it's definitely like noir and sort of, so basically this turns it up to, you know, all the arches become you know, OGs and kind of, it's just, it's a very, you know, gargoyles everywhere, that kind of, that kind of energy. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and it gets a little bit, you know, kind of... Uh, Hard coils? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, we've got to get the tunes in there. Um, no, it becomes very uh, uh, think-like um, in a strad, almost, you know. Oh, man. Is it marquee? Uh, in a is that what you were Raven thinking of? That kind of stuff. That's not marquee. No, I, no? That, is, that, is a good, that is a correct term for a different thing. I don't know. I'll never find it. In any case, um, that is sort of the difference between the two. Uh, there's one other very notable explanation of the difference. So you guys have the Statue of Destiny on Destiny Island. There's a statue. She used to have this green orb in her hand. Now it's just kind of like a plain ball of white. Um, I'm not sure if we've ever actually talked about Destiny Island, um, but uh, the Statue of Destiny is a 300-foot-tall statue, a hooded woman. Um, She represents the classical goddess Destiny, sort of one of the sort of, um, like, rays worshipped by, you know, the the Church of the Rays and all that stuff. Um, She has one arm outstretched towards the city. She has a rose that's a symbol of death and remembrance. Her other arm is raised over her head. She has this half-woven tapestry that is kind of, like, carved to be, like, flowing in the breeze behind her. Um, And kind of at the top of that is this eternal light that burns. Uh, It's visible even during the day, and it kind of lights up the, the water over. Um, so that is the Statue of Destiny, which you guys see every single day. Uh, it may, well, maybe not, depending on how close you are to the water, but you get my point. Um, there are Statues of Destiny in both Idiwith and Thinis. Uh In Idiwith, it is she's sort of shrouded and skeletal. Um, in Finis, she's wearing a sun hat, and it's a whole bundle of flowers carved in her hands. And this thing over her head is like a nice scarf. So kind of the statues, and you and you can scrap, you can show illustrations of the two different statues to kind of demonstrate how these three versions of Destiny are all of a real spectrum of of like fun, sun, super scary. I am proficient in religion. Would I have any deeper meaning to those statues' differences? Um, sure. Make a religion roll. That's that. Yeah, do that. Putting it out there. The Shadow Elves are the good guys, they're just gone. Thirteen. Um <laughs> I think it's a it's a it's a you, you kind of have a surface level understanding that that all three could be considered an accurate depiction of destiny. Um the Idiwith one seems to be saying, Your destiny is death. The the one here in San Termino seems to be saying, Destiny is complicated, and the one in Finis is saying, Destiny is a sunshine. Oh, they're, they're definitely fucking evil, the Fae. 100%. Um, 100 fucking percent. So that is kind of the, the sort of spread of all of that. Um, but I would say that is the main stuff you've learned specifically about those cities from all these books that you've done. Uh, the the uh, You also do, because you bought those books about Idiwith, and it took a little more time with having to wait for Leopold to have the spell up and everything, and you guys have it to, you know, cross-reference in your, in your handy little umbral, umbral to Elvish Dictionary, um, you would have also learned that Idiwith basically does have, like, a, a relatively uh, similar layout to this city. The, the different districts uh, are all represented there. Um, and uh, it talks a little bit about the trolley that you can take between them, although it says that, um, like, Shadow Elves, many Shadow Elves, can naturally pass in between them by sort of finding finding shadowy gates that they can kind of activate, sort of. Um, and that would not be too surprising to you, Scrack. It's, it's sort of like the idea that a shadow elf can find the equivalent of, like, a fae or uh, a fae crossing or a, you know, a shadow fell crossing that they just kind of, like, can naturally trigger other, other beings, you know, could maybe even like bump into that wall and it might not happen. It might, but it's, it's sort of the, the shadow elves can kind of have an innate sort of uh, secondhand ability to just kind of, if they're really wanting one, they can pass over to their pieces. Um, oh, okay. Chanel, would you so, like to? Sh- oh, yeah, sorry. So all of this was, they were just a bunch of shadow elf revolutionaries. Are shadow elves like a downtrodden race? In- the city, or I mean, it seemed like it from the way they were talking. Uh, out of character, I'm pretty sure. Uh, make a history. Uh, one, I never paid attention to any of the shadow elves. You're, at you're, all, so. This is the first you're hearing about there being shadow elves. You thought those were just pale elves. 
Yeah, I didn't think there were a whole other race of elves. I mean, yeah. an elf is an elf is an elf. It's an elf. Yeah. 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 An elf is an elf is an elf. <laughs> but it sometimes are on shelves. <laughs> Aside from like the construction you used to make, because you said there was some like magical construction to make these two cities, does there appear to be any like overt magical purpose to them besides the fact that they're just a bear? Yes, the they definitely provide those two worlds um, stronger foci of like of power in their respective reflections. Now, obviously, that power imbalance has shifted pretty tremendously. Um, the book you're reading has not taken place. The book you're reading predated, you know, it's not a, it's not a book of the last two years like the stuff you're reading about the Fairylands. But um, there's no way that Finis, uh, without color, is going to be as vibrant or powerful as it had. The channel is wondering that if this there is some sort of backwards magic going on that, you know, these reflections that can actually have affect the original cities. Is there some some possibility of that? We should actually, uh, if if you're willing to share your your precious book, the information from that, we can actually go to. Not the, the book, book, just the information that I learned. Of course, yes. Uh, um, no one can see the book. <laughs> Uh, There's like a thousand dollars, so but, I just, yeah, uh, I, I I'm not say, bringing my book around, Dominic. I can't we trust sort of him. With books. This. Uh, we'll mention this in that case. Um, Anabyth was this sort of castle kingdom that was right. in the uh, it was in the shadow world. There was an area called Kilkarni that was not even like a city; it was just kind of like a like a there was an area in Kilkarni that it sort of roughly correlated with kind of just like a, it, this is an this is an instance of because this actually happens a lot there will be a um, like sometimes the uh, shadow world will have a castle and in the real world it's just kind of like a spooky glen or like a weird glen and then in the fairy lands there's another castle so sometimes there's there's not always a castle in all three places sometimes the reflections are only on the you know the other sides um, this is one such place. Kilkarni had no specific city where Anabyth was. Um, Anabyth, however, was sort of betrayed by his sort of whole family, and he sort of felt such rage and despair and sadness that he effectively um, performed a feat of shadow magic to sort of, like, sink himself into this rage and grief. Um, upon sort of doing that, he created in Anabyth this extremely haunted... Um, it's an extremely haunted castle by Shadow World standards. So that's upsetting. Like, you if you go there, you're gonna be dealing with some like real serious shadowy um you know nonsense. Um there ah, because that one isn't another thing. Uh no, you guys would have done. Just roll an investigation check, Chanel. Oh no, wait! Scrack's the only one who heard about it. What about what? About his critical, the name of this uh, the name of this king, the name of this king in Anobith. His last name was Aplunk. A P a capital A lowercase P capital B L A N C. Of course, of course. Um. That is something that you guys reading this book, I don't know. So if you if you mention the name of the king, Scrack, make a make it a flat intelligence roll for me. And actually, I'll, I'll even take that back, Anthony. If you if you know, you can just say. If you as a player could do that, I don't want to take that away from you because. Um, I, I I must admit I'm terrible with names in real life, so I'm just What'd gonna you make the same here. What did you roll? You said flat, flat intelligence. Hit. Flat int. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, cool. nine. I'm I'm rolling terribly today. It's you're you're barely paying attention to that. You're looking over your stuff. So we'll get to that another time. I don't know if any of you realize this. Whatever. Some interesting connection to a thing from a thing. Um. In any case, I know I've um, heard the name. I can't remember where. That was the name of that king. Um. He created this darkness in the castle of Anabyth that was so powerful 
there was an area in Kilkarni that became sort of slightly haunted and dark. But it was so powerful, this magic, this is a thing you learn from this book about Anna Mike, that there are rumors that even in the Fairylands, the walls of the corresponding castle cracked in, in uh, Laetitia. This happened Leticia? When? What? Yeah. Uh, like, thousand years ago. Mi mi Middle Ages equivalent. What, um... What does Scrack think of that, like, just that level of power? Like, that's that's clearly not natural. Like, what? who was this person that he could have cracked the barriers between realms? Um, you know what I mean? Now that you're sort of hearing about this, go ahead and make yeah. it up. Twenty-six? Just a second. Yeah, twenty-six. Twenty-six. Scrack. With a twenty-six, I'm gonna. I'm also gonna have this be partially a flat end thing for you as well. Scrack, you hear about? You kind of like look up from your books, hearing about this insane crossover. Um, that would have taken some like, like this person either must have been a an archmage unparalleled in his age, uh, or someone who was consorting with some kind of extra planar power, you know, was getting himself, like, perhaps a, perhaps a, uh, perhaps, like, a maxed out warlock gaining some power from someone else. Perhaps it was both, perhaps an archmage who then struck a warlock pact, you know. This was probably somebody channeling some, some serious other power that the nature of the story of it being all based on, like, grief and an emotional thing, uh, would indicate that it is... It probably was more like warlocky or even sorcery in nature, or a wizard who summoned something. But hearing this and hearing this of King Aplank is interesting to you, Scrap, because that is the name that you heard last night of a congressman, a shadow elf congressman. Oh, was right. killed. that's where that name is from. Right. And, right. and was uh, he was killed in some kind of like traffic. Thing, but the Shadow Elves think it was murder. So, so he's related to the king. Apparently that yeah. line continued. Uh, or it's a couple of yeah. But A P B L A N C. Yeah, that's the that's the Welsh uh, like the the Welsh equivalent of O or Mick is uh is A is A P. Hmm. A fight. Like, Scrack, it's like how um, two D's is a TH. Okay. Scrack yeah, will mention like, that offhand, but I'm not sure he's concerned about personal connections. Um, does... Well, he has no personal connection. That's just a dude. Yeah. Does he draw any parallels between that event with the city and, and the kind of the trans-dimensional stuff and Project Skid Leach? With a 26... Um... only tangentially the idea of doing something that it is it is across different planes um okay. it is much easier to affect something across fairylands material feywild or you know or fairy uh, fairylands material shadow world just because they are they're all sort of very connected um mm -hmm. to do something that affects all of them have to be an even huger amount of magic but not but but the idea that this could have happened in this case is not nothing um Leo or Chanel? You're the two who mm -hmm. rolled it. Actually, both of you can try this. Would you guys give me an, a, an integrity check as well on your reading about Anna Mike? Integrity. Integrity check? That's yeah, that's crap. I rolled a three, so I don't think. Fair enough. Integrity is a plus zero. So it's a roll. An eight. My integrity is plus one, so it's a four. A four. We don't got an integrity. Um, and then, Zero integrity here. Very good. So yeah, you kind of the the there you think there and it also is hard because it's umbrella, it's a weird language. There may be some like implications of of implications of implications. There may be like kind of things between the lines that that sort of that you're just not picking up on, but that's okay. Yeah, it's lost in translation, right? Precisely. Um, and it's also very old. Uh, so, but I will say that is the report. That is the book reports. 
congratulations, students. For so you. glad I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> Man, amazing. Huh. Hmm. As for... Okay, then. So, Molly was tied to Olire, who she caught up to this bar. She's also protecting this revolutionary who wants Shadow Elf uh, business. And his name is Bethan. I'll just throw that out there just so you guys can all... Yeah, I'm um, pretty sure Dominic heard it and then summarily discarded it in his head. Sure. And, uh, let's see. The, Not related to me? Fuck him. <laughs> and it's all... Well, now... Now he's gonna start having to remember all of this whole yeah. skip leech thing because now it's like, okay. And now the Shadow Elves have, re have re a conspiracy that caused skip leech and all of that so, uh, meant that I had to die somehow. And uh, also you guys too. Maybe Except for you, you are part of Shadow Elf? Nobody needs to kill me. I mean, wait. We've already established my mom is a human, and my oh. dad was an orc. So, no. No part Shadow Alpha, as far as I'm aware, unless I'm only court of orc, and my dad's... You're a court? <laughs> You're a court? I'm court. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, court of orc. orc. So does that mean um, we have to go to the, the Shadow Realm to finish solving this thing? That is very possible, I think. I mean, it's suddenly not off the table. I don't know, what time actually. Is it right now? Uh, it's like 10 a.m. at this point. Right. It, despite all this con connections to shadow magic, I am beginning to suspect we may find more answers in the Fey realm. How so? I mean, they Hold certainly on. would be more effective. If the this lips, project Skip Leech was an attack, it was certainly aimed at the Fey. Hold on, hold on. The lipstick. Of what realm is that lipstick of? It was a uh, Fey, right? Um, we do not know. You no, it wasn't. It was the. I don't like we identified a realm that it was. You have from. not so identified a realm that is. It was a Fatal's lipstick, right? But what so is a Fatal? Yeah. What and is you a guys fatal made from? rolls on a Fatal and you did not know enough. You'd heard of the concept of it. I think somebody rolled high. It was a like, kind of creature, right? It's a kind of creature, correct? Yes. Yeah. So you do not know that no one rolled high enough. enough about or a terrorists. class, or could be a class, could, like... or it could be a yeah, it could be a race, could be a class, could be a creature. You're not sure, but uh, it could be a discipline. But you, no one rolled high enough to sort of have that. So investigating that could certainly be a thing. But. Scrack is sort of suggesting going to the Fey realm rather than the Shadow world, which makes a lot of sense, certainly. Yes, the Fey might have some opinions on this matter. Oh, I don't know any Fey. Hold, hold on. How much, uh, what, how long do we have until, you know, our money is clean, Duchess? Four uh, hours. Duchess will say, yeah. Yes, Luminous can answer that. Don't worry, boss. I'm on top of it. Um, it'll be yeah, four hours out. until that that the money can be picked up. That thousand uh, minus the amount you know, they're holding. Sure, sure. Um, and then uh, and Let's... then uh, they said they could see you about a full wardrobe. Very so. well. Let's put a pin in this uh, in the Shadow Realm Fey business and get back to the brass tacks of who tried to kill us show the shenanigans and make contact with this I read the iron who was uh, who uh, was she was the one helping out Tasha right was she helping out Tasha or was that her, just her name oh, she works for inscription she seems yeah. to work for inscription she was she was working with Tasha yes there was yes. they were connections she, she was she was giving Tasha some inside information on military stuff is what Tasha told you all right that seems to be our best bet, since it seems like the ones who hate us, who wants the most likely to want me dead, or us dead, are those who want to perpetuate Skip Leech, meaning Shadow Elves, so those... Yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just a simple mobster doing simple <laughs> mobster stuff. 
No, that, that uh, that's a good jump. Trying to right? make that's his way through life. I I actually agree with that. We we don't have enough information on the elves yet. Perhaps we should pursue that lead. The, you mean the Fey? Well, no. this uh, Irene you all keep t- talking about. That right. is true. Inscription. That means they're going to read more books then, right? I, I need more t- time to research. Perhaps we can look up no more things books. about the Vital, yes. I All need right. more money. What else is? <laughs> Chanel's just like, I need more money. Chanel blew all her money already. <laughs> I need money for books. Wait, how much did that book that you bought cost? That, that cost 10 gold. And their books cost another 2 gold. I'm pretty much broke now. <laughs> Didn't you have 100 gold? Didn't we give you? That is gone. I had to buy <laughs> Some tools as well. And, uh, 100 gold is like the equivalent of like 10,000. It was right? 100. It was only, how much was it? 60, 40? Yeah, well, I you, you was... got you got way less because you traded it in at a, at a predatory rate so you could get yes. it immediately. Yeah. I think you, and I think I had... you only, I think she only got 40 simoleons for Yeah, yes. she only got 40%. And I had to buy uh, seed stools and. Uh, and a whip. And a whip, so, and a ten dollar, uh, a ten gold I, book. You are not going to be in charge of this finance. Is, this is a real. Uh, it's like all these expensive candles, five hundred dollars. <laughs> Can someone help me out? I'm dying here. Yeah, I need money. Yeah, Stop really, buying whips. No. <laughs> a- Ambrosia, Ambrosia, who's here, will go. You should take a financial planning course, Chanel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, at this moment, Rosa. she's a go-getter. The, uh, <laughs> the door opens, and a, uh, a wood elf enters. Is it oh, what's his name? Brush? Well Is he a brush salesman? KJ not here this time either. She's never going to meet this guy. Um, oh, he comes in uh, with Reese. a with a case, um, and says, uh, "Hello, everyone. Uh, I uh, I was in the neighborhood." Hi. Um, oh, do you have brushes for sale? As a matter of We're... fact, he holds up a case that's like rustling with all the Fowler. Hold brushes. on, Sh- Chanel, you didn't meet him. <laughs> you didn't uh, meet I him didn't. The last yes. time. Hi, my name. He walked over to Chanel and says, but I Hi, the my name is Bruce Fowler. What's your name? Okay. Who is, who is, who is he talking to? <laughs> you, sorry. He's talking to you. He walked over oh, to you me? and you started talking to him. Hi, I'm my Bruce Fowler. Name. My name is Chanel. It is very nice to meet you. Understood. Nice to meet you, What too. is your business? Oh, I sell Fowler brushes. Um, oh, that is wonderful. And I have several here samples that you can look at. And is, I now is, have order forms. Is Leon, as an artist, familiar with an actual brand name Fowler? Or does he immediately know it's Fowler? They, they're cleaning brushes, but yes, it's a real brush. Oh, oh okay, they're cleaning brushes. It's like, it's like the, it's like the scrub the, brush. The fret- the French made brushes, those. That's, That's basically fun. what they are, yeah. Uh, so he kind of just sits down and says, "Yes." Uh, although they're like they're like uh, nylon strings or something, you know, they're not feathers. It's um, only he just 10 sort of sits down. But I was thinking if I if I could have, a, I'm glad you're open on, on a morning like this. But I was thinking I, I I could go ahead and have I could have one beer, um, because I'm not on the clock right now. I could just have a beer and chat for a while. Um, I- I look at the clock, which still has a bullet hole in it, because I never bothered fixing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's still early in the morning. Are you sure you want to I mean, give the man a beer? What's a good uh, beer to start a no, day? No, I'm, 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 not... I'm, it's not like I'm some kind of lawman or anything. I, I sometimes will have a beer early in the day, because I'm just a traveling salesman. <laughs> just a simple man making his way in the world, huh? Yep. All right. It is 5 p.m. somewhere. But... I'd love okay. to show you Let's some Fowler brushes, which I have several of now. And he opens up a case. Interesting. Um, and there's a bunch of pristine Fowler brushes in there. He what says, do okay. you use them for? Oh, can, well, you can you demonstrate? Them for, you can use them for all kinds of cleaning. A demonstration? Of course, I do this all the time. Uh, he picks it up. Um, so, uh, I just gotta make a roll. The here. onion is sleeping there in the corner. Is he making a performance <laughs> roll? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We all know who this person is at this point. I can't remember yes, Scrack. I, I, no, Scrack was at there when it happened. Okay, never mind. 
just crack wood. Uh, <laughs> so did he, he roll begins... a one? No, he rolled a seven. Um, and he has a plus, but he 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 has okay charisma. He actually has decent deception because he's like an agent. He doesn't have high performance, and this really is a performance. So it's about a it's about a nine you got from this fella, and he's just basically like the modern woman or man always needs the always. The one thing that that that's that the one guarantee in this world is that you're gonna have dust, and the modern woman or man needs a way to fight that guarantee, and that's a genuine Fowler brush. Now, unlike our competitors, unlike our worthy competitors, the Fowler brush he kind of starts extending it like uh, the Fowler brush can get into those hard to reach areas thanks to our patented telescoping technology. He starts like dusting. Um, it says, of course, in a very clean establishment like this, I'm sure I won't find much. And he just kind of, his eyes go wide as he pulls up so much dust and there's like a dead <laughs> stuck in there. Like, oh, I, uh, and the onion just kind of. <laughs> yeah, look over there. Can I? So Scrack has proficiency in Tinker's tools, so he's probably got something here. I can I mouse. start an engineering conversation with him about these brushes and turn that into an information flood? Right. Uh, so please roll a just roll a uh, intelligence plus proficiency, <laughs> and he's gonna try to beat you at that with just a flat int for this guy about what he can recall about these fucking Fowler brushes. <laughs> poor fool! This poor fool. Fifteen. He didn't roll a one, but what he did roll was a two. <laughs> so he cannot keep up with you. Now I'm gonna roll his intelligence saving throw. Uh, that's a four. Um, so he's he's going to try to like. All right. So this next thing has disadvantage on this ability check he's about to make. So as you start talking about this, it's clear he has no idea, and he'll say with disadvantage, I literally roll a nineteen and a one. <laughs> Deception check. Um, so he kind of very unconvincingly says, "Of course, I I." You're, this is all, you know, you're getting into the real science of it, but this is definitely all stuff we learned at, at training camp. Um, I mean, uh, at, at learning to... Of course I'm... What, uh, was our boot camp and training how to brush and clean? I mean, it it's hard. Hard. It's hard. It's not a boot camp, not a boot camp like the military. No, not that. Uh, it was a... Um, uh, is that beer here yet? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, have yeah, some of my vodka. Ah, well, good beer. Uh, I, I uh, thank you all for your time. I'll just leave a couple order forms. Maybe I'll be back to pick those up, or you can mail those in uh, to the um, uh, to the Fowler Brush Company, and, and you, can, right. you can you uh, can. I mean, I mean, I what work on commission, so no. What is the Fowler Brush Company? What's so, that? What is the address of the Fowler Brush? Company? It's it's there on those real forms from the Fowler Brush Company. All right, they're Hold real. On, right. I have them because I work for it. All right, let's close your tab. I'm, I'm, then. Okay. You you deeply moved me last time, and I and I was hoping. How how did it, has it any progress been made between you and your father? Luminous, I want you to make. I'm gonna roll for him, but I want you to make a quick insight to check on this. Okay. This is insight, not integrity, because this is just nonsense, not deep moral panics. Um. Well, that's actually not too high. Uh, okay. Well, he didn't roll amazing on this either. Uh, where's my insight? Yeah, do, oh, I have the wrong character. Oh, oh. good lord. <laughs> Fair enough. Like, this insight oh, doesn't man, I don't have 20s everywhere. Yeah. Oh, wait, this is Phoenix. Oh, is man. that why I had scale me? I'm like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> like, does that, that say a lot then? Wait, yeah, why like, have, why, why do I have, I have this legendary loot here? <laughs> yeah. And, and I can't and play why? the loot. And why am I, I don't married have a Pegasus? To, like, five queens. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, there you go. That's an eleven. An eleven beats him because he rolled pretty low. So you, so basically, you see a quick flash of relief on his face, <laughs> almost implying, okay, now this I can lie about. I got this story <laughs> down pat. And he goes, <laughs> well, not much progress since that friend. He sort of sets the Fowler box, Fowler brush box back down. No, not much progress on that. You see the, my father. Uh, my father has been sending me goading letters, uh, photographs of my former beloved, his new wife, 
uh, the two of them at the beach. He's, he's clearly been getting her to wear more revealing. Uh, they make these two-piece bathing suits now. It's, uh, it's honestly quite indecent. And he, there Shocking. he has her parading around wearing it. With, with his arms all with all hands all over her like some you you you'd think I was half octopus with how many hands my father seems to have in these pictures. Yeah. On this That's what are you gonna something. do about it? Do you have a plan? I have a plan. My plan is to sell as many as many gall jern fowler brushes as I can to take right. back the company from the old man. That and that won't work. You're just giving him more money the more you work for him. I but I get a commission, and with my commission, slowly, I'm making my way up the chain. Here Wouldn't it be better what? if to, you just killed your father president? and then inherit the company? I'm sure, that, I'm sure that my faithless former love would inherit the company at this point. He's disowned oh. me. The only well, thing that turns you my could stomach kill more her is... Too. So I'm just you're, you're going a little too far out of there. We're <laughs> all looking here at this one mannequin who's <laughs> just suggesting murder. Yeah, just this blank face yeah. mannequin. <laughs> be yeah. on accident. Don't don't worry. I think she's don't broken worry. inside. Don't worry about it. She just says those things on occasion. Oh, I don't worry about it. It is logical. It's, I hear so, I hear all sorts of things as a fellow brother. Anyway, salesman. you know, it sounds here, like. I'll, I'll be sure to mail in some letters to, to put in a good word for you, so hopefully you get a promotion. Yes, please what, do. What good is a letter of recommendation from someone outside the company? He just, he just rolled a two, <laughs> though, on his, uh, um, on his, like, a deception, just playing it cool. I've, I've been rolling different dice for this guy, and it hasn't mattered. <laughs> so, Bruce, he's forever you know doomed to be the worst I'm, agent I'm gonna say, ever. you know what? You had it rough, buddy, here. Hey, so, if enough people make good surveys for him. What is, he, the, he what should is one of the highest uh, bourbon scotch? Yeah, some yeah. scotch. Oh, on I'm, the house I'm, you've had it. I'm uh, I I I don't I can't touch. I'll use my conspicuous presence. I insist as proprietor of okay. this establishment. Uh, that is a wisdom save. Beverages. Uh, wisdom save. Yeah, to beat my uh, intent. My intimidation. The, he's the worst agent. He rolls a six on it, and he is cowed into doing this. He says, "Yes, well, as a, as a man on the road, I do, I do have hard liquor, and and uh, I am talking about my father. And quite frankly, as he oh, slugs it back, um, yup, I'm definitely used to drinking that. <laughs> um, my, uh, you know, my the hard thing here for me is that my father is just so, uh, uh." I can't imagine what my dead mother would be thinking about this. I mean, she's dead, so she's not thinking about it, but but I can't I imagine. That's why he is dating your lover. Uh, who was your mother? Oh, mother, she was she was nice. Always had a homemade apple pie. Uh, was she a saint? Was, she was a saint. She was a wonderful woman. I miss her a lot. Then she died while my father was divorcing her. My fiance. Don't worry, I'm sure Mama Fowler's looking on from above at you. Mama Fowler, yes. Yes. And I am Bruce <laughs> she, Fowler. She One would want you to kill body. them both. Oh my god, Chanel. Sure. Jesus. <laughs> By the night, Chanel. <laughs> kind of with this actually I'm gonna make a constitution saving throw for him because he's had he just had a shot at ten oh five. <laughs> okay, he does roll a 20 on that. So Okay, at least he can hold his liquor. He can hold his liquor at least. <laughs> In fact, because of that, and this will go forward, he'll say, I'll, I'll take another one of those shots, actually. Um, so please, uh, uh, right. uh, Chanel, it's been nice to meet you. Uh, are you in the need of any brushes? Do you need to purchase any brushes? Uh, you can also tell that Scrack, whenever you're around, he's always just like very personally not facing you because that's not a conversation he can handle. <laughs> Not at this moment, but I will keep you in mind. So, 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 what is your interest in murder? I'm asking for casual reasons, um, like as a hypothetical. I mean, we've all done wild things on the road. Have you, for example, ever, ever, ever killed anyone? Oh, thank you. No, definitely not. Please make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now they're coming. Okay, now they're coming. Not net, net twenty. Oh. Isn't he? Oh, that's right. He, he. He passed his oh, check I, to not be drunk. I so. thought you told me to make a deception check because I, I said 
Yeah, oh, yeah. No, natural, a natural 20. Oh, a natural 20. <laughs> what does that get you to? Uh, 219. <laughs> <laughs> so basically you lie as well as you can but there's this guy's main skill is insight um he goes imagine that interesting um yes of course not so you're just you're just a an enthusiast a fan you like you like just, oh i uh, just like it. thinking logically and i read books uh true so crime and read, fictional crime uh, you read, you read crime, crime stories and you think yes. it seems to the stories to kill the people, so good well, to know. It, in books, always people who who want to inherit kill the people who they would be inheriting from. Or there could be a life insurance. It all seems very logical, right? I have a uh, I have a I have a question for you, uh, Chanel, just out of curiosity. Um, oh, you're a mannequin, so you don't really have parents in the traditional sense. But let's say that you were uh, you were crafted by two two craftspersons who who you cared for very much, right? Or or who they cared for you and and gave you everything you ever needed. Can we can we just say that's a hypothetical idea? Sure. So um, let's say that one of them tragically died, being a, a mortal, uh, you know, and not a mannequin such as yourself, and they died. You went to the funeral, and at this funeral, you saw the most uh, attractive humanoid you'd ever seen. A person who you were, you the love of your life. Just love at first sight, if that's a thing, man. does not compute. I do not find humanoids very attractive. Understood. Uh, well, then let's say that at the funeral, someone came who was the most logical and useful person you've ever met. I understand. So, this <laughs> logical and useful person left before you can find out their name. So, what would you do to find that person? Hmm. I I would hire a private detective. Okay. Okay. Sure. Good. He seems relieved by that. <laughs> I mean, that's the only logical thing to do, right? Like, what else would you do? I mean, it actually, passed. Chanel, make a make it make a flat intelligence roll. Five. Five. Yeah, that, that nothing else is coming. Scrack, I want you to make an intelligence roll. A Just ask the per to ask someone at the funeral for their name. Just Who ask was that? Yeah. Oh, it's one of those trick questions. Oh, maybe I, I don't think it's a look... trick question, Chanel. <laughs> Nine. No. Just ask yeah, someone there. Unfortunately, it's not going. Luminous has asked someone there. He's like, he looks at you and gives you a like, you're all right. No, the, <laughs> the bad answer to that question is, it, usually in the way you do it is you go to your I know this you... one. Hmm? I know this you. one. Yeah. Oh, no, go on. It's like out of character. Yeah, the, the, he, he will explain that, that typically you phrase it as your mother and your father and you see the love of your life at the funeral, but they leave before you find your name. So what do you do to find them? And if you're a sociopath, you say, oh, I kill my mother. So they'll come to that funeral, and then I can talk to them. <laughs> I kind of test this. It's just yes, a test, I, it it's just a test we use in the service of selling uh, Fowler brushes. It's a, it's a. We ask lots of little psychological profile questions. Like if it this. was somebody else, heard this father. psychological profile question before? You we're trained similarly, <laughs> being military. I was trained in basic espionage. Scrack, you've been background. asked this question before, yes. Scrack will say that like offhand, like, "Oh, I, I've heard that question before during uh, uh, basic." <laughs> well, anyway, it's about that time. He looks at his <laughs> watch on it. I've got to get out of here, but uh, everyone, uh, uh, it's always good to see your old friend Bruce Fowler. Just uh, all, everyone, just carry on with what you're doing. Um, hey, sure, you I, have, I have come to look forward to your. Business. Oh, of course. He he puts he puts a cup. You know, he puts like a simoleon down on the on the thing for his districts. For of course, thank you so much. And he just. Uh, um, not to everybody. You, you, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed our conversation. I, I think I'm going to do a write up of how Fowler brushes can be improved and s send it to the company under y y your recommendation. Of course, maybe that'll help things with my father. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Yep, they'll get me the recognition. I he just he's out. He leaves. Mm -hmm. Is his case there? Did he leave the case behind? Because you said he was leaving brushes behind, right? He did leave the case behind. Yes. So is he just giving us all these? Br what? <laughs> this is like a free sample of brushes. All right, flip it over, open it. Yeah, can we just a brush case? Just investigate. Yeah. All right, investigate. Yeah, Plus yeah, zero. Yeah, but, but better let me. Okay. Well, I'm just. If you want to, you can take a look as well. I'm just doing my initial thing, just checking it up on it. This can't be a bug or wires. There's not, not a bunch of wires coming out of it, is there? Are you saying all this aloud? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you're just no. There's just it's just nothing. If you look through, you find nothing but brushes. Uh, is anybody else investigating it? What about the paneling? On well, well, with a sixteen, oh, you haven't found anything. Okay, okay, okay. Scrack, you're taking a look. Yeah, I'll pass it. Scrack. Uh, like a... I would like to assist him. And she assists me. Sure. Yep. Are you proficient? Yep. So you I am not. Advantage. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Yeah. The uh, the bottom panel of it. Uh, you kind of look and you can kind of like if you sort of flip it, flip the entire case over, dumping out the brushes onto the thing. The bottom panel you can slide off, and within it is a is a like a. Basically recording device microphone and some kind of transmitter i was cool. while he was investigating that i was keeping quiet telling everyone else to keep quiet and did that just so well we got free brushes yeah i nod and then allow what a nice to guy is that bruce faller yeah. can i take one of the forms too sure. <laughs> just to, like uh is it just for like an order thing, or is there like a survey on the side so I can actually like? I'm just can we, out of character, can not we? A no, just... okay. can, can we start a totally innocent conversation when we 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 would like to just say how much we are not up to anything at all? <laughs> you can say whatever you. Yeah. Want. You can I say what you want, but doing... Doing... Lewis is not taking part of that conversation. Well, it's sure nice not, not doing, doing crimes. crimes. Yeah. <laughs> not doing them today, not doing them about I'm not yep. saying that uh, in character at all. Although, what what should we do about the case? Because yeah, like, but, but it's a nice case. We should say... we should at least give it back to him. Well, he'll he'll probably be back. We should probably put uh, uh, all of this away until he returns. Well, we're keeping the brushes, though, right? Well, that, that would be not be stealing. Ethical. I mean, he that literally is... said, "Here, have some brushes." <laughs> like... True. But I feel like we shouldn't keep the man's case. That's his livelihood. I don't know why he left it here. We'll just uh, hold on to the case, put it in the back, not the back room. We'll put it in some safe place, way far away from everything, just okay. to keep it in storage. But I'm taking one of the brushes. <laughs> sure. Grab I'm not stopping you from doing that. Eric, Can I expect it to see how, like, is it quality. like an official brush? Or did he, like, is it like a knockoff? Sure, like, make brush? an investigation. I'm kind of curious. Like, the actually Ooh, go out and buy Roll Valorant. really high on this. <laughs> I sure hope so. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, wait, it's investigation? Mm -hmm. That's not my forte. Oh, you can do a perception instead. I'll allow that. Perception? Yeah. Oh, even better. That ends up being a 19. So close. You should double that. Double that. 20? No, you should double that. Oh, double! Oh, yeah. You know what? Sure, sure. I'll double down on that. Uh, it's I shenanigans, make two, but it's fun. Yeah, I make two grilled shit. You know, uh, it's twenty-five now. Patties, put a burger in between them. <laughs> nice. Uh, a uh, with a with a twenty-five luminous. You look at it and you actually see. Let's say you even look at a few of them and you see like some of them. Uh, there's little like marks kind of like towards the handle. There's a little hole in the handle. <laughs> and a couple of them he didn't fully like like you still see some of like like the little plastic thing around the tag they bought these from a store they went and just bought a bunch of fowler brushes off the road and then fully <laughs> clean out all the tags took most, almost all the tags off they, there's no tags still on it but like some yeah. of them still have like the little plastic tag holder and you spot one of those <laughs> I'll keep one <laughs> 
I don't know. We'll just in, keep in his, memory uh, of our good friend. <laughs> we'll just keep his case in storage next time he returns. I have a feeling he'll be returning sometime soon on business. <laughs> yes, Where is... they rolled a four on their insight. So right now, across at the listening station, you don't know about. They're like, they bought it. They bought it. <laughs> Damn it! They're putting it in a closet. <laughs> Uh, man. Are you just gonna pile a bunch of stuff on it so it's hard to hear? <laughs> yeah, I'm just putting it in the closet with all the luggage and all that stuff. Uh, all right. Every once in a while, I would like to go to the closet and just say a lot of boring things, or or have Scrack there no. and say a lot of boring things. Start talking about murders and you know all this crime stuff, and then say, "Oh man." That new Agatha Christie novel was so good, wasn't it? Man, it was amazing. <laughs> what a fun book that was. <laughs> um, all right, so that that took up a little bit of time here on Saturday. Night. What time is it now? It's like, I mean, not, not all that much, but like 10.30, 10.45. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, all we right. still got a few hours. S- and Cynthia, I guess, is here, and she's just been like... Yeah. Can I just investigate the rest of the area that this guy was around just in case he put something under the counter or something? Sure. Janelle, you want to help me with that? Yes, of course. That's who you can look around. Uh, 25. You see no other bugs. This is is an era where, like, a little bug you could just plant, that's a little... It's not there. Okay, cool. Yeah, like, like like the... the the thing in there is a microphone and a transmitter, and it's the they're both the entire width of the uh, <laughs> of the know, briefcase. Of the case, it's you know, yeah. it's that this. All right. The okay. Yeah. So like I'm... wearing a wire is like a whole massive thing. <laughs> <laughs> like... I, I want to see him with like this whole big thing right in front. His stomach. Yeah. Do that whole, do, no, do the Homer thing and transmission. Like, <laughs> just like, like he like he sits down into the chair without sitting, like keeping his whole body. Open, like, oh, I'm here yeah. for the. Yeah. Um, oh man. So, all right, it's clear. So, what are we doing next? Well, we are going to pay visit to the cleaners uh, in a bit of time. Uh, we really should. Clean fix that clock there <laughs> still the little holes what are we planning to do about them outside though uh let's see you said you've got your uh laundry bag full of uh full of stuff to clean right luminous wait uh, i'm sorry what <laughs> he yes there is still a garment bag full of right no, oh yeah no yeah we we didn't give this bag away I just had an idea. Oh, this should be good. You say Does this area place? already have a Fowler salesman? Are we on that again? <laughs> oh no! Maybe We're gonna have a war between Are there maybe actually, and the should, First of all, we should figure out if there's actually Fowler salesmen walking around door to door. I'm just saying we could let them n- know there's a little. <laughs> competition in the area <laughs> have, have, have any of us ever met a fowler salesman besides that guy like in, in our entire lives no. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what i mean is there even any are fowler are you, are you salesman around like, like some <laughs> godzilla let the fight sort of thing do you think just salesmen just go start pulling out wares and start fighting each other it's n- each other? not our you know problem what, it's just a c- <laughs> complication that'll really suck for the real salesman when he's like i'm gonna fight you for this territory Secret military intelligence officer. <laughs> <laughs> he punches him, and they're like thirteen guys. Like, don't move, don't move, on the ground. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! What? What if that guy's also a military plant? That they just never talk to each other. <laughs> Have you ever seen that Reno nine one one where where she's undercover trying to like, she's trying to like, she's undercover pretending to buy drugs. And a guy at a store at like a head shop is like undercover. So they're both trying to get each other to say they want the drugs. And as soon as one of them do, both of their teams swarm in. And then they just like start laughing like, oh my god, oh, no, we were trying to, oh, this is, you're doing a sting. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Anyway. So uh, that is the uh, professor. I'm not sure if you're really smart or really dumb sometimes. 
uh, uh, obviously I'm in incredibly intelligent. What a dumb qu question. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, man. This is this is some real uh, what is it? Uh, who is your previous character? Kolvar? Yeah, <laughs> real Kolvar feels to there. Of course I'm I do not feel like Scrack is like Kolvar at all, but okay. That <laughs> that, that 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 exchange the, felt the like only that. part about Scrack is it's like Kolvar is the know it all. <laughs> Yeah, that. that yeah, except he actually does know things instead of. <laughs> I'm Kovar literally a professor. Yeah. Uh, but Scrack. Um, Scrack religious is things, yes. Yeah. Kovar was the religious. Scrack's guy. like, what is it? The guy from Office Space that's trying to look up what money laundering is, <laughs> trying to figure out how to do it. That's what I feel like Scrack would do. <laughs> um. So I guess the uh, I guess the question here is, you do kind of getting back to a question okay. someone posed before you guys. Uh, theorized starting a an inter fowler brush <laughs> yeah what do um, we do about the agents outside is how to yes how yeah exactly so <sighs> about those guys yeah we don't want to lead them to the actual you know <laughs> true that would look bad <laughs> hmm. well we could do a fake conversation by the recording device so they think that we are going somewhere else. But they would still be following us. <laughs> yeah. We, well, we, but really one of us would very conspicuously, inconspicuously going somewhere fake place. And I'll they would, Chanel. somebody else would be sneaking. Chanel, I want you to roll a flat intelligence check. Oh, intelligence. 13. Do I, do I add anything? Or add your intelligence anything? modifier. The, uh, 16. 16. Um, okay, good. You have worked espionage and surveillance in all these guys. Mm -hmm. The idea that they just sent somebody in with a, you know, a non-magical transmitter and microphone, kind of like a full tech thing, uh, you suspect they are increasing their surveillance of you guys. Uh, or at the very, so like, there, there may be more people watching you. There, there, there. In fact, Chanel, why don't you make a quick perception check? <laughs> I was actually gonna wanting to make one before we left. Go ahead. Yeah, you, know, uh, you could do a peek at the blinds as well. Nineteen. There's like, there's like five cars out there. That's <laughs> two suspicious parts. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, natural twenty plus fun. seven, so twenty-seven. So basically, Chanel and Chanel sees and luminous somehow like sees x-ray vision through um there is a repair van across the street that hadn't <laughs> been there before and chanel you're like weird repair van i bet somebody's inside of that luminous uh you notice Do you, does he see the antenna on top of it? it uh you see a bunch of uh cigarettes like outside of the driver window of it of someone who's like been there and you can tell even at this range with your 27 uh, or your 26 that they are from a military commissary uh so yes well but then we need to do some uh uh softer food. uh we could uh, either disable the van or distract the people or uh just go say oh repairman we need your services or something. Are we going to meet more Bruce Fowlers that are now repairing? <laughs> I think we that could, we could like, like uh, we could do something. We know that. Uh, somebody that could, yeah, doing. somebody could run a subterfuge and distract I them. I think yeah. that'll just m make them more suspicious. Uh, uh, unless they have a b believable story, they're not going to go away. No, no, it's not about we going don't away. Need them it's to about go away. We just need keeping them distracted uh, enough so they don't notice some of us slipping away. Yeah, aren't they after need... you, Scrack? I thought the bit basic question is why are they a after all of us? No, they're yeah, after but it started you. with oh, you. Uh, you in yeah. particular. Y yes, that's t t true. I could try to act very suspicious and try to draw them away. You know, oh, Cynthia think... is going to say, "Well, yeah, I think they were after Scrack, and and now they're now they're comparing a bunch of unsolved murders to see if Chanel fits the profile." 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. I, I feel like you should go up Just, to them, Chanel, well, to it, distract. It, this might actually be a good opportunity. Do you have a rival gang in the area? <laughs> what is it with you pitting people against each other? <laughs> It is a very sound. Scratch has very, uh, very shallow moral. It's there, but it's it's not very well developed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did work. I mean, that I, trash. I, I, I agree so, with yeah. Scrack. That would be very. Okay, can you let's start a game Is Ambrosia can, here? Can, can, can get people up for get, get, No, no. Uh, can, can you? Here. She'll do whatever. Can you draw a rival into? trap into a fight with the military police. Well, the problem is this is a little oh, trap. Just that. Ambrosia, that guy so. in the, the repair run uh, said some rude things about your mom. Yeah, She's but not Gianna. <laughs> She's not Gianna. Oh, Gianna. <laughs> no, not Ambrosia. Think... We, we need jumping Gianna. Where is she when we need Do you think all orcs look You wanted her dead? <laughs> and just like, were you comparing me to Gianna? Is that... That's... No, sorry. Just all orcs look the same to me. <laughs> we all right. <laughs> Maybe we should have shot her. Real indignantly. <laughs> you just can't go up to an orc establishment and say that sort of thing. You inhuman murderer <laughs> monster. Yeah, yeah, Ambrosia will point out, like, all mannequins literally have the same face. Like, oh, right, well, that is not, not true. Rude. Leo has three of them. I only have one. He has one. three of the same face. It's not actually true at all. Uh, that yes. is insulting to my craftsmen, but since I built this mannequin, um, they are very distinct faces. They're just upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> at least you admit that part. I mean, oh, that was on purpose. <laughs> uh, okay, so. But that. I will yes, say, though, that, that Leo, Leota and Chanel's faces are, they're both elves, so they probably are extremely similar looking. And probably, <laughs> Chanel was probably just a, you know, a general mannequin, yeah. so there's a ton of mannequins that look yeah. just like Chanel. Yeah, yeah it's like, it's if Chanel's walking down the street, there's 12 Chanel's in the window, yeah. <laughs> Ambrosia, have you got any access to any cars or the, or the like? I mean, yeah, we can, I mean, you told me not to ask Rodolf for anything. No, no, no not, not from Rodal. Just do we have access? Well, uh, can you just rent a car? I feel like this question was asked before. And yeah, I can. Like, I can. Uh, there may be a car I can get you, boss, without Rodal going through Rodal. Do you want to risk that, <laughs> boss? Where, where will this car? I assume I won't ask the. Oh, it doesn't belong to anyone in the family, right? This car. It, no, it does, but it's not. Damn it. Then uh, no, don't, don't. No, I'm not gonna mess around with a family car that way. All right. Uh, I we'll could try to steal a car for you. Yeah, that was the other uh, option there. <laughs> Thanks, murder hoppers. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. So here's the. Are there any like? impound lots or anything nearby within walking distance uh within walking distance uh you know what yeah you're not in the wrong you're kind of there's there's uh what skill is boosting really a car the, there would be some up in the biscuit probably yeah all right so here's the idea that we acquire a car that belongs to the family i'm not gonna ask how we then just casually cause an accident by just, I don't know, accidentally veering into this repair van. Don't um, have the tools to repair it. I should also mention, <laughs> sort of, especially Luminous and Chanel with those rules, uh, when you, you the, the idea that you now see that van out there, that is additive. All the other, the other people yeah. down <laughs> the street looking at shoes and stuff are there. There's just now also a van. Okay. I have yeah. an idea. What I if we call the man. fire department and we, we say that there is a fire in next door, and then they all come up with the fire trucks and sirens and everything. I get the thing this is all, this is all getting it, unsubtle. None of these things remove the problem long term. They'll just 
be well, back we tomorrow. Well, we just need to remove it right. short term so Do Luminous you know? can go I, and get some laundry done. Most also, boss, I feel like we're going to need a new base because coming back here, le leaving is getting way more problematic from here. There is day. always the safe house. That the military knows about. Yeah, but they know where that is now. That's true. It but was there is still safe always house. the safe house. <laughs> <laughs> or we can just go off to the Feywild and see if they follow. Yeah, let me, until, just in case I get this incorrectly, we are being watched because of Scrack and Chanel, and I, right? That's what we assume? But mostly Scrack, but yes. Well, Scrack I, I, them back when he I guessed. think it was uh, initially me, but a after that, a Agent died. Right, yes. Disappeared. Nobody knows that he's dead. Say that oh. louder, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Plausible deniability. Cynthia <laughs> right. is just like... You didn't... Uh, I think the only one who knows is about the agent is me and Luminous, right? We were the ones... Oh yeah, you guys have not talked. Yes, that's true. You're the only... Yeah, you didn't tell about Yeah, them. I didn't know that then. Never mind. Never said that. <laughs> yeah. I um, just disposed of it and didn't bother telling anyone. I, I, I mean, I'm not I, telling anyone about that either. I, I, to be fair, I, I, I would assume that they know I, I know about them because I was on that call maybe right. not but i think i've got an idea we should set a new base somewhere unaffiliated with all of us how about we go to say a religious location out out of town you know like a mission of some sort <laughs> well i mean we are about to come in with a bunch of money that would make it easier to <laughs> Well, let's buy some um, property out of state. Out of it, well, no, it's not only that, but we'd have to pay for travel back and forth every day. It, it only takes one of us being followed to compromise that whole situation, though. Indeed. But we'd have to take a train. That is true. Well, let me ask this. After we, after you get, get the money, what is the next objective? The objective is to meet with Irene the Iron and well, that's find them. deep in family territory. She is unaffiliated with family. No, she's, she's in a. Hold on. She's oh, a whole complete other. I'll, I'll let him do it because I can. I know he wrote it down. She hangs out in Imbroglio in Cook Park. Very close. Right to the safe where house. you are. <laughs> right by the safe house. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not right by it, but in that neighborhood. In yeah, in the neighborhood. Yeah. So she hangs she's out in the, the neighborhood of that safe house. Yeah. All right. So. You know what? I'll... See, D Dominic should just go. They're not going to think it's that suspicious for a mob member to meet with her, right? Okay, question. Am I openly a mob member known to the military? You don't. And by now you are. <laughs> you suspect that they probably understand. Uh, I'll tell you what, Dominic. You were not a military guy. I'll tell you what. Two clue points and you can understand everything about what they're up to. I, well, we did wake up and I just got two clues again, so. Yeah, see, I like just making sure he has none. And then hoping he rolls ones. Cause it's good. <laughs> like, I don't I don't need them. Yeah, sure. I'm thinking okay. this through. The flash of insight. If it's on. about me, use them. <laughs> yeah. He his head on the door frame. He's like, wait a minute. Kind of, Dominic, as you sort of pace around, kind of thinking... You counted things on your fingers. You come to a few conclusions. One is that though military intelligence is considered an oxymoron by some, these guys are not stupid. They understand things. They have probably put together very easily that this is some kind of mob front. The only reason they haven't come to shake you down is that they assume that you all can lead them to the information they really want. So... You and your operation is known to them. They will likely eventually turn stuff over to the feds if it sort of suits them to do so. But for now, they don't care about drugs in town. That's not their purview. They care about Scrack was asking the wrong questions. And he came, he immediately came here 
after saying something happened here he went and asked more questions came back here now they see all of these weird people there's two mannequins who they know are connected to skip bleach there's no way they don't know that <laughs> you who they have put together is some kind of mob person whoever was tailing you went missing so you're under focus luminous and duchess any of their stuff there it's like it's like everyone here is now under the suspicions of some of some knowledge that the military doesn't want getting out related to project skip bleach the idea that Project Skip Bleach is, didn't function right is clearly something the military doesn't want known, doesn't want investigated, and they are watching everyone who's connected to what they assume is either a conspiracy or an investigation, or, or at, at this point, their logical assumption is a criminal or, or enterprise of some variety. But they what haven't moved on you because they want more information. They, they, I just they want wanted to fix thing. my bar. That's all this is about, man. <laughs> but Dominic, that would be. Uh, I, I'm not sure okay. I've quite given you two clues worth, but that's kind of the. No, that that's pretty. That's pretty heady. That is. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> These guys it. really complicate things. <laughs> what if we led them to a fake person? Like, we make them think that somebody we don't like is the, you know, who is the man that they're looking for like well, i don't know like somebody like aldir or lire well that would involve first getting them to there and then getting them inside because so far when we go to a new location they don't actually come in with us they just kind of case the place well we could just whisper by the d d device that you know aldir would be really mad if whatever blah 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 blah, blah you know we could just uh, send them off on our own a and story. then and then we kind of sneak over to his place and you know do all right leave you know, well, if you come up with a good enough if, convincing story it could work would if, if know dominic is, is right then as soon as we stop being useful they're gonna move on us so perhaps we don't want them to think there's an answer yet would Leona know anything about like military proceedings that would help in the situation? Potentially, yeah. Um, uh, what? Uh, what are you like? I mean, in what? What kind? Like, what? Tell me an area that you'd want to think of, or like a you know a. a um. I mean, Dominic probably. If there was the, like the, the big picture figured out, he just kind of elucidated. Right. If if there was like some kind of information that we could give them that would get get us get them off our backs for a certain amount of time. Uh no roles required. Yes, Leona could very easily just say, uh I mean, you understand that the way it works is that everyone has orders. All you need to do is get whoever's whoever's given the command for this. Just just either get someone above them to get you off of this, or okay. Yeah. Um, I'll just, well, well, um, you know, there is also the other way if we can go above these people. We do have some connections to the military. If we find out who is given these orders to keep us tailed, perhaps we could go over their head and get somebody above them to tell them to knock the fuck off. Okay. Scrack, who did you talk to? Who did you boneheadedly talk to that led to this whole shenanigans um, and if you if you cannot remember the name i will i will provide it yes it's your handler right yes uh, no no that but yeah well so scrack you you talked to a vice admiral i'm not sure if you shared that with the group yeah but that's probably who is um, and the person above a vice admiral i'm assuming is an admiral <laughs> I don't or, say yeah. does, anyone does above them is. Know, yeah, does it, any of us it, know as an admiral? Wouldn't the person above them be the one don't that we know of General Elgrave? No, I'm, I'm saying that's a person who would be, like, Leona, you know the General Elgrave would probably be above whoever's ordering. General Elgrave <laughs> well, would put us He would be order. near the top, right? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I already uh, asked him about that, though, and he didn't seem a able. Elgrave? You didn't talk to General Elgrave. He didn't talk to No, him no, he him. talked to his guy. He met. Yeah, you talked to Helosoak, but you haven't spoken yeah. to I got it. Here's the plan. We'll play it by ear. We somehow get over to Irene the Iron. Do what? 
find whatever means to get over there without attracting attention, we get she knows Dottie, and Dottie is tied to Elgraves. We will then have some dirt to try to put pressure on Elgraves to tell him to knock it the fuck off. Because I just want to run a fucking bar here. I don't care about this shenanigans. I mean, <laughs> I, I feel like if we're going to threaten a general, we better have a good backup plan. Because I feel like his first thought isn't going to be to comply, but to get rid of us immediately. Well, um, we've got our means of making sure that uh, we have contingencies in case things go wrong. It, what, what, can I ask what those are, boss? <laughs> I'm curious about this. Yeah. I, I was uh, I was making that up as we went along. Okay, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just saying there's a lot more than job security at risk here. Uh, I don't think you need Let's to see. sneak out to visit this person. Be, be a l- little suspicious. You are a m- mobster. I mean, yeah, but I don't think they're going to be very happy once they discover that we led... If military we, intelligence to a launderer. If we all are sque- squeaky clean as soon as they start investigating us, that's s- suspicious in and of itself. I, I do not want them to know that we have money. <laughs> not to the launderer, to I- Irene. That, yes, that, that is that big is, worry. That is your... That's the big worry. All right. Well, Cheers. wouldn't it be yours? Okay, here's how it'll have to be. We have to keep our spheres as separated as possible. So, me and Luminous will now go We'll go to meet up with Irene. Or meet up with... First we'll uh, meet up with Willie. Willie. And hopefully meet up with Irene. Just doing normal old laundering business. I have a lot of fine suits here. You know. Just to get keep that clean. You guys will... Do whatever spy shit you do. Uh, research <clears throat> or read some books or something. Um, I do have a question though. Yeah, Philip. please. And I also, I'm gonna ask how, Anthony something, but yeah, go ahead. How much do I think the military intelligence would know about me? Because I know they don't necessarily. You you suspect? I mean, they're 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 probably trying to look you up, being some some yeah. national. You you suspect they don't know much about you. You know, would, would would they have to go through like different channels to get information about me from across? Yeah, and I mean, you know, let's not to. I mean, I don't want to. Um, you know, hypothetically, if someone was maybe or maybe not using, you know, different names or you know, I mean, I, I, I I'm not. We haven't discussed that, but like, you yeah, know, names can change in immigration and such, and so it it would take some doing to track you down. And I mean, I'll be honest, Bluminous, you are the least, um, <laughs> like. You do, you know even even uh, like doing a little bit of research into uh, into Duchess would Duchess is going to show up on some of their lists and be like oh interesting yeah. you don't show up on anybody's list you are you, are, you as far <laughs> as they just know you're just, you're just a you're it's just, just a guy they, they, they <laughs> you right. probably don't track any different than Ambrosia in their list of stuff they assume you're just some hired muscle for the mob <laughs> that's the way it should be <laughs> um, Scrack. That, that would be your guess. And I, I, Dominic will say you have that from your clue as well. You, right. you, you sort of, yourself. Scrap, I just, I, I need to kind of clarify this, Anthony, because also I know you may, it was a while back and I think I did my text. Um, are you, sh- so like you were interrogated by a vice admiral. Um, have you shared that with everyone? Have you mentioned who that is to the group? Would you do that? Or is that information you're trying to keep s- secret? Um, Keep mind, Leona I don't did think say. I, I, I don't think I shared it in the past, um, but I, I don't know that I'm trying to keep it secret at this point either. I would probably mention it if this conversation came up, yeah. Okay, well then I would say, um, wait, who, who I don't you? think you're going to get over the head of who's giving these orders. It's probably Vice Admiral Elgrave. Uh, that is sorry. That's a that's, no, that's, that's not sorry. the name. Uh, I, this was a Go text ahead. I sent you a long time ago. I should have. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. I should sorry, always sorry. do emails. Sorry. I was looking forward to the emails, um, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> uh, so sorry. It is uh, here. I'll I'll put it. His name is not El Graves. El Graves is a general. He works yeah, yeah. for the land military, yeah. not the sea military. 
So we're not we're not talking to Elgrave. Just basically. No, no. Uh, not about you that. think Elgrave would be above whoever this person is? Yeah. Yes. But, but, but nobody wants to talk to him. Elgrave. Well, we don't have to threaten him. We can just be like, we don't know. Why Vice Admiral. Are jailing us. Can Cast you get them off that. our ass? Fast for that. I mean, okay. what's his what? name? Vice what Admiral, I mean, bass for that. Bass for that. I don't even know. I go back a while. If I'm but saying I'm that right, so, I could probably bass, convince. Bass for that. I'll say this. Yeah, bass for that. Uh, as you're sort of doing this, uh, uh, sort of uh, Leo, hmm. you hear that name. Say which name? Vice ahead, Admiral Bass for that. Vice a Admiral Bass for that is the one who was. A asking questions, and that is actually a name that that would be known to to uh, to Leopold. Liana. Or to Leopold. Leopold. I have no idea um, who these people are. Vice Admiral Baspoth. That I don't think this is someone who would have made it into like your first round of stuff. So it's just it's a, it's you're hearing it the first time, but Leopold would know it. Okay. Um, Baspoth was a uh, was a fairly important vice admiral who came on early in the war effort and was afforded the luxury or afforded the the courtesy of being a vice admiral. If anything, you'd be surprised to hear that this uh, this individual is still serving in the military, um, because most of the interplayer beatings, such as demons, like this one, did not stick around. Your understanding was they were here provisionally and sort of placed into equivalent positions in the military, but they were not actually part of the military structure. So the idea... So he is a demon. This, Excuse this, me? This water demon, Baspothet, oh. is the one giving these orders. You know, I probably should have figured that someone named Baspothet was a demon, but, you know, uh, <laughs> right? whatever. Um, um, can I just... <laughs> actually, what? you said Baspothet, Scrack? Uh, yes, when they <laughs> caught the me in. Demon. Well, he he did g give off fiendish aura. Yeah, because that's a fiendish <laughs> name. I, I suppose that makes sense. He's still serving. I thought it was his position was a provisional one. There are literal demons inside I, I, the government? I thought I, it was I, just no. something... I, so I didn't get the impression that from the text that Scrack was familiar with this person before we met. You had never seen them, and you didn't okay. see them. Yeah, it's kind of you were just in the shadows. Yeah. There seemed to be some inhuman thing, kind of. What? Uh, what are you looking for? You know, kind of. In but he he se seemed very interested in the questions I was asking. Which were uh, about Skip Leech. Yes. How uh, closely involved with Skip Leech was the Vice Admiral during? Project. I I, I n never heard of the man before. Does Leopold know how involved Leopold he was? Leopold would have been aware of him um, from uh, just the sense that that deals were being struck with interplayer entities who would have also been opposed to the incursion of creatures from the other side of far realms nonsense. Right. Coming. But Leopold never met Baspothet. I don't think Leopold would have ever met Baspothet, but basically this is just this is just a surprising thing you've just heard about and learned. Is there Leopold common knowledge that met. demons work for the military? Uh, well, it's not just demons, but no. Right, all sorts of interplanar entities were sort of brought on as a coalition against the Dark but that, that is common knowledge, just anyone. We took on anyone and everything. Probably not specifically. Not Would it be common to anyone who was in the military? I mean, I just Probably came here two Leona months. Probably Leona would be aware of it. I mean, I just arrived two months ago. I don't know the yeah. much of the history, so you I'm just going. Know this. Leona, no, no, might... demons? Leona would probably be more aware of the idea that, like, oh, crazy, we just brought in like a oh, 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 oh the the seventy seventh division is a bunch of uh, rock element or is a bunch of earth elementals. Got it. It was yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. But did, did uh, Zorok just bring anything like that, or was it just us? Uh, Zikarok would... Zikarok, yeah, sorry. Zikarok was, just, was, <laughs> oh, that's Zikarok right. was an allied power, so yes, they, they might have summoned such things. Here. Okay. With this... Realistically, though, Z uh, Zikarok was just under assault. So, like, Gestorio was the one kind of, like, like, 
summoning stuff and trying to do it and building building war ending disaster machines. Right. So, um, is it strange to me in a way that I would want to question Elgrave as to why this person is still on and, and like pursuing us, or is it is strange in that I just was not aware of it? I think it's probably both. I mean, it, it, it it's. The idea that there's a demon high up in the military, if what Scrack is saying is true, is that's different. That's unexpected. It's a bit perplexing, yes. Yeah. As far as I was aware, they were all brought in in a provisional sense and were supposed to. All right. Uh, the alliance was supposed to last as long as the war did. You were, of course, dead for, you know, early on in that for process. Yeah. Right. I mean, how much shit changed? <laughs> all right. You know what? Here's, you should you should work out those that stuff with your uh, handlers and stuff, Scrack and Leo. Make sure, you know, all the things on up and up there. Well, I mean, I just want to make sure that you're okay with me possibly causing to hurting Elgrave to, to get the tail off of us. I mean, I don't know Elgrave. I just want people to I... stop messing around with my bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not comfortable talking with that high of a level of... Right, but are you comfortable with me doing so? If you think you can get him off, then sure. Well, I mean, that's I mean, a non-zero chance. Are you, are you, are you chance. crazy? <laughs> Cynthia right. said, don't, just don't even, the kids here, just don't even joke. Don't <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so, so basically, right. it's, it sounds like, yeah, go ahead, Dom. No, no, no. I was just going to say that. Okay. So I'll say, yes, Leopold. Just work your contacts to try to stop messing around with us. We didn't do nothing. It's Scrack doing a whole bunch of stupid shit there. And I don't think even he did anything worth being tailed for, probably. Right. So just get them off our backs somehow. Well, I, I, I mean, to be fair, I did try and break into one of the most secure complexes in the country. You what? What? Are you fine? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it was more of a sneaking around than like actual breaking in. I I, I had a a access. You but did I, commit a felony then. <laughs> I mean, I I was tr trying to get access to the r restricted library section. Does that help? He just likes to read. Well, it's true. Perhaps if I it truly always is the rat. Perhaps if I put in a good word for you with Elbray. We can let this blow over a bit. Uh, I mean, I I, I already t t tried with my commander, but you're welcome to try as well. <laughs> so perhaps you, you all should go off and get your money, you know though. What? Here, Luminous, we're out of here. We'll let them solve their felonies here. I didn't do anything here. I didn't kill anyone. I didn't do nothing. I didn't you even keep touch saying the guy. That. Yeah, you you, you are to, literally to running an underground smuggling front. But illegal potions. I love it. Um, that is local crime, not a federal crime here. It's a totally it's both, legal, illegal activity. It's a ridiculous crime aside from my victims. I, 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 I'm pretty sure the, the controlled substance scheduling is on a federal level. Yes, actually, it is dis so like as distinctly federal as a crime. As our as our as our heroes here uh, kind of set up the idea that there will be some dual dual yes. paths, some 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 splitting yeah. splitting of stuff. I think that's where we'll call it a night tonight. Split the party. Um, We're doing so it. Basically, right, wait, did I, you I, want me to take the thousand the ex, the other bag, Dominic? You, well, that's the bag that you brought previously, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was our in to get to meet the iron. So right. if you guys are gonna sort of bring that and. Um, and I assume Duchess will probably sort of go with you guys on that little area. Probably, because she definitely wants to Elf, meet right? Irene. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, and then the others are going to maybe try to reach out to military stuff to get the people off their backs in that way, which is a fun, certainly is a fun possibility. Oh, best Pothet. Uh, yeah. yeah, you said that name, and I was like, that is definitely a really name. odd name, and it was like, Water <laughs> Demon. Oh, no, okay, that makes sense. That tracks. Yeah. Um, he, was, he was a very good naval commander. Yeah, I'd imagine That's so. Big water now, if yeah, you this... said he was a water genie, oh, oh, oh no, <laughs> he must die. The, the hatred never dies. <laughs> this <laughs> is cross campaign <laughs> hatred. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, well, guys, that was wonderful. Uh, thank you all so much for, for another great session. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, that was, uh, oh, my God, Scrack is just... I, this was I, the longest morning, man. I love Scrack just, just like, just bringing that into it. And he's like, he's like Scrack barely even did anything. He's like, well, I broke into his high secure facility. <laughs> yeah, I committed what? a felony. <laughs> you were breaking into the house, actually. He's like, yeah, I broke in, and then I talked to this scary demon... And then, like five and then people. they let me go, and I came straight back to you guys. I only broke into the actual military intelligence headquarters. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Like, yeah. Hey, I, I, I ch checked to see if I was being followed. <laughs> so yeah. Dominic was you thinking, I didn't yeah. even do anything to the military. It was standard mil military yeah. protocol. And based Dominic's on the protocol like, of the guys yeah. but the, who were following me, I wasn't followed. <laughs> Um, well, that was wonderful. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, you know, check out all the other shows on our channel. Go to our Discord. We've got uh, fun stuff there. Go to our About page. Um, all our socials, all that fun stuff. Um, and uh, uh, that was that was. Oh my god, I, I like this. This is fun. Uh, also, on Friday, a big deal in my world. It is our 52nd session of Blood from the Stone which is a multiple of 13. Also, it's a whole year. So yeah, definitely check that out this coming Friday. We got some very fun, uh, dark sci-fi stuff planned. And then uh, on uh, on Sunday and Monday, we have two more sessions of Luminous Beings and Crude Matter, our interconnected Star Wars games. We left off on a pretty fun time that I can't say because Jeremy's in the Luminous Beings, so I can't say what happened on Crude Matter last night. But uh, so oh God. some real funny stuff happened uh, between those two games. and. Uh, no. So now you're in uh, clown world. That, that's where we're going, right? We're in clown world. Yeah. I didn't. I don't watch any of yeah, other. Yeah, that's Star Wars. Basically. Yeah. basically. basically. Yeah. And, and, oh my god. So, anyways, yeah. that's all fun. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and come back next week for more of this noir insanity to see to see how these two dual missions go, and if these guys can talk their way out of military surveillance, which eh, weirder things have happened. Oh. Um. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Um. Until next time, I'll leave you with the words I, I guess is what I say at the end of each one of these. Good night and good noir. <laughs>